hi loves you are welcome to my channel my name is olivia and today i'm going to share with you how to cut and sew a wrap peplum blouse and so if this is something you are interested in then please keep on watching i'll begin by folding the fabric into two using quarter of the widest part of the measurement which is the bust and i'm going to work on the wrong side of the fabric right so i'll draw a straight line like this which will serve as the shoulder line and the starting line so from there i'll input my shoulder to half length plus half an inch for joint allowance so for me that will be 17 and then from the starting line i'll mark shoulder to chest and then shoulder to nipple i'll go ahead and put all these points to a straight line right so from the starting line or our shoulder line i'll input half of my shoulder plus half an inch i'll repeat the same thing on the chest line and i'll put that into a straight line from there i'll come down by one inch as a shoulder slope and for the neck width i'll use three and a half for the neck width and one and a half for neck depth we are going to use this as a pattern for the back and the front so this is the neck depth for the back so i'm going to connect from there to the one inch like this right so I'll divide the armhole line into two like this. From the midpoint, I'll come in by half an inch and also 0.75. The half an inch will serve as the back armhole, whilst the other one will serve as the front armhole. So on the chest line, I'll mark quarter of my bust. I'll add two inches for sewing allowance, and I'm going to use my armhole curve to connect respectively like this that's for the back right and on the waistline i'm going to input half of my bust pan or my nipple to nipple measurement and beneath the nipple point i'll come down by one inch and on the waistline half inch of both sides that's the dots and i'll connect them like this right so on the waistline i'm going to input quarter of my waist and I'll add two inches and include the that intake, right? I'll connect them together like this. So I'll add half into the shoulder line like this. That's going to serve as joining allowance. And I'm going to connect the second arm hole, which will be for the front 0.75 like this also. And that will be all. I'll go ahead and cut out and I'll notch the dart point. I'll cut the back armhole first and I'm going to fold another material or fabric into two and this is for the back right so I'm going to use this to cut the back I'll notch the center like this. I'll also notch the dart legs this way. And I'll go ahead and transfer the dart to the other fabric, just as shown. Right, so one of these is going to serve as the back. And we are going to use the other one to cut the front. So I'm going to open one that's the one we used first I'll cut out the armhole now we are cutting the front armhole now I'll use my fingers to press the midpoint of this pattern like this to get a crease line just to indicate the center and so from the center I'll mark half of my bust pan or more than that that's for the overlap right so from the shoulder I'll come down by 
7 inches that's the depth how deep you want it now from the extra mark you've made from the midpoint mark half an inch like this that's for joining allowance and now you mark the width or how wide you want the belt to be there will be a belt and afterwards you mark half an inch again or basically you add one inch extra to your belt width okay so that is it and so we are going to connect now so i'll begin from the end this way to the depth neck and from that point i'm going to mark it this way and from the center i'm going to connect it to the end of the neck like this right so this is going to serve as one side of the front so the second one will just overlap it right so i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and i'll use this now to cut the second one so right sides facing each other and i'll go ahead and cut i'll transfer the dart legs and transfer the dart to the other side of the front like this Now after doing all this, <clears throat> this is the center, right? We did it earlier, so I'm going to transfer to the second one. And I'll use this to cut the lining. I'll also use the back to cut the back lining. Okay, so let's cut the belt. Obviously, before you cut, you knew how wide you want the belt to be. So you just add half inch to that wideness that unfold right now for you to know how long you want the belt you add at least 15 to 20 inches to half of your waist measurement so i've gone ahead to cut the lining and i've stitched the darts for both the lining and the main piece i've joined the neckline and under stitched i've also stitched the sides together just to make them neat and so i'll just go ahead and turn it inside out then i'll go ahead and give it a good press and for the front i stitch the dart of both the main piece and the lining and i press the dart so i'm going to put right sides of each of them together then I'll go ahead and stitch the neckline. I'll pin it and stitch. And after I stitch, I'll flip it and flip the excess towards the lining piece. And I'll under stitch. I'll do this to the other. And afterwards, I'll stitch the sides. So I'm going to have to do all of that. I've stitched and under stitched. I've stitched the sides. We just cut off an inch yeah so i've repeated the same thing to the other side now let's work on the belt i'll put a belt on the front that's the right side like this on the main piece half inch away from the front right and i'll flip the lining like this and i'll pin i'll stitch just about a quarter of an inch i'll repeat the same thing to the other one and I'm going to put the fronts together, center to center. I'll place the front and back together and pin the sides in place. Okay, so let's join the shoulder. I'm going to just do this way. Just watch what I'm doing. Main piece to main piece, lining to lining. And I'll pin them together and stitch with half an inch allowance. And repeat the same thing to this as well.
and when i'm through with this i'll stitch with half an inch joining allowance i also go ahead and input my measurements and afterwards i'll connect the points together with a ruler now for the belt to pass one side of the blouse i'll mark half an inch from the lower part like this and then i'll mark the width of my belt just as shown all right so the belt will pass through the space like this so you are going to stitch start like this end and continue this way so afterwards i'm going to measure around the waist of the upper bodies and that is what we are going to use to cut the peplum right so i have my fabric folded and this is one two three four five six seven and eight and the lower one is going to serve as the lining i have a lower one there it is going to serve as the lining right now i did it because this is a peplum of 720 that is 360 times 2 right so the lower part is also 8 which is going to serve as lining okay so for me to do this i'm going to divide the waist measurement that i just measured into two and i'm going to divide that one waist measurement by 6.28 that's a measurement for a full circle and that one will be used to cut just one circle and two of them coming together will serve 720 degrees right and make sure you add half an inch to whatever measurement you get and also you should take note of the length of your blouse so for you to know the length of the lower part you subtract your half length from the length of your blouse right so that is all i'm going to do i'll rotate my measurements and make sure the length you add one inch to the length of the peplum so this is actually hard to cut so you can fold and cut the lining separately as well as the main piece so you don't find it difficult to cut <laughs> i hope i'm even making sense i do have a tutorial on it a detailed one so i'll put the link in the description just don't want this video to be very very long so i'll notch the important part and i'm going to cut just slash this side for the main one and as well as the lining i hope i'm not talking too much so this is how it one is going to be and it's two so that's 720 360 together 720 and the other ones will serve as a lining to the main piece now i'm going to join that is why i supposed to add one inch for joining allowance i'll join with half an inch and this is 720 peplum okay so let me slash this then i explain the next point okay now at one side the at one end of both the lining and the main piece i'm going to put them together like this that's after joining them right and on the lower part i'll go in by three inches this is going to be at both sides of the peplum that's the front of the wrap and so i'm going to connect them together like this and cut out now the next thing to do is to iron an interfacing to the lining and also attach a crinoline to the lower part of the lining all right so i'll go ahead and do all of that now for the sleeve in fact for the sleeves i'm going to just cut out how long i want the sleeve i'm just going to do a diy here not any detailed thing so from the center of the sleeve i'll mark six inches from the center of the sleeve like this 
and mark the midpoint of that cis go in by two and a half and connect together like the way I'm using the <laughs> the tape measure so this is how the sleeve is going to be I'll go ahead and cut the little flares at the top that's on top of the sleeves. I'll go ahead and do all of that. I've gone ahead to join the lining to the main piece. I've attached the crinoline, line, I've understitched, and this is how my 720 peplum looks like. And I'll just go ahead and attach the bodies to the peplum, right? So I'm starting from one end and midpoint of the peplum to the midpoint of the bodies the same thing to the end like this and any excess i get i'm just going to manipulate them into pleats so i'll go ahead and join and that will be all for our top i'll go ahead and join the sleeves i'll just hem the lower parts and join them to the armhole of the blouse and we are done with this top so i hope this video was helpful in any way if it was please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and welcome to my channel if you are new i'll see you in my next one bye